Welcome to worship at College Heights United Methodist Church. I'm Dorothy Trogolo, one of the members here. I'm uh, doing the welcome and announcements for our lead pastor, Beth Gardner, who is on sick leave, and we wish her many happy recoveries. She's doing much better. Um, a few announcements that I want to lift up. Uh, the February Backpack Ministry Food of the Month is, I can't resist, peanut, peanut butter, jelly. No jelly, just the peanut butter. And next week is Super Bowl Sunday. Who didn't know that? But here at the church, it's Super Bowl. Sunday, which means instead of having our traditional Super Bowl luncheon, uh, we will be distributing a Super Bowl cookbook in exchange for your suggested donation of $10 or more. And um, you can make your own soup. It's a fundraiser for missions, and I know you'll enjoy participating in that. Um, I want to remind you that in addition to virtual um, worship and to the Hispanic worship, we are continuing to have the outdoor worship in the courtyard at 1030, and all social distancing Precautions are in effect for that worship service, as well as for the Hispanic worship service. And um, last, I want to mention that today is the first fifth Sunday of the year, which means it's our children's home Sunday, which is a special Sunday for um, the Florida United Methodist Church. Um, I want to lift up that the 2020 goal for our church was uh, $3,156. That's about $12 per member of the church. We gave um, about 300% of that goal, which shows how much that particular 
mission means to this church. And uh, we're going to roll uh, a video about how special the children's home is to the hearts of the children and the young adults at that place. I'm Rebecca Best. I'm a licensed mental health counselor and my role here at the children's home is as a child and family therapist. I work with the children in individual therapy as well as in a group setting and sometimes with families either to help them with an adoptive home or to go back to their family. They may have experienced running away or homelessness, physical or sexual abuse or even acting out sexually or behaviorally on their part and many times it means they've been through several different placements before they come here. When I first came here, I was struggling with my behavior. She made the treatment plan where it was good, where it's in my grasp, instead of putting it way out there. And she has helped me with the getting a relationship with God. I like it actually meant something to me because one day I just got on my knees and said, "What am I doing wrong?" And then it helped me out. It's like God was actually answering to me. What I'm looking forward to is being a good person when I grow up and getting adopted. Um, I've seen God at work through the children's home just in the everyday interactions with the kids. The smiles on their faces, their um, willingness to get back up and work through it again to see the fact that they can change and that they can move forward and, and, and to know that they're our future and if they can overcome the things that they have, I know we can do well. Thank you for, for your support and your donation and most of all your prayers. Join me for our opening prayer. Gracious and loving God, we gather in this sacred, sacred space to offer our thanks to you with our hearts. We gather with this community of faith to follow Jesus, who longs to lead us into life. We gather in these moments to learn all we can of grace from the Holy Spirit. Be with us as we worship today. In your holy name we pray. Amen. <laughs> 